And as just a reminder, this is the Rolling Deep Marathon featuring Rolling Deep participants. This is a four day marathon going on from today, which is December 20th until the 31st. Um, I might uh, you know, uh, have to uh, roll into uh, the new year a little bit because uh, we're ending it with a uh, casual plane smoke along the Lost Levels playthrough all the way to uh, D4. So, yeah, oh, good four God. day marathon. That after potentially uh, opening in time glitches for me. Well, if that happens, I'm replacing Super Mario Bros. Alright, do so you instead. take care of the timer, or...? Yeah, I'll take care of it, because OBS isn't letting me fucking crop it properly. Okay, so I'll, I'll remove it. Um, just go with the game feed. Mm. Uh... Well, I mean, you don't have to remove it, because I'm not gonna capture it, so... But, yeah, do whatever. 3, 2, 1, Smurf! <laughs> Alright. Yahoo! I like how, like, half of my plans have backfired so far. <laughs> like, alright, I'm gonna have you- I'm gonna have you control the timer. Wait a minute, I can't crop it properly, so I'll do it. How does, uh, Banjo have a, uh, a backlit Game Boy? <laughs> Game Boy. He's way ahead of his time, man. I got my stream- my screen installed on uh, my Game Boy Zero. Did you? You got the screen as well. What else are you gonna put on there? Um, it's got a 3.5, uh, 3.5 inch, uh, fully functioning uh, backlit LCD screen. So we haven't started the timer. Uh, what's going on? What's going on here, Joe D'Amelio? What up? Oh, I'm I'm good to go. He already started it, so... Wait, what? Really? <laughs> yeah, good, uh, 30 seconds <laughs> Well, you can add 230 after Spiral Mountain. <laughs> let me, uh... Let me <laughs> well, okay, so in 100%, we had to collect all the honey... Uh, the... So that's what Zelda's was doing out here in Spiral Mountain. He's collecting all the honeycomb, um, collectibles. And at any percent run, you would skip that, or a honeycombless run, if you fuck, you'd skip that. He's collecting all the six honeycomb things that are out in the Spiral Mountain. Uh, timer's not starting because we just rolled that deep. But... I just started that, yeah, like, when I entered Grunty's lair. Do you know around what time that is? Normally? Like 2.30. 2.30. Yeah, I was typing to Pidge in this Of course, I distracted myself like an idiot. Oh, nice. So, I don't know if it's only how to roll deep with the bottles at the beginning here. Uh, no. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> you can skip bottles. Um, oh, it should be 2.30 now. Uh, eight rocks. You get balls if you uh, stand on a certain spot and uh, beat uh, cover over them. Actually, and there we go. And we're starting. You definitely <laughs> missed it when you got the bottles text. Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> <laughs> two two forty. Oh, whoa, two. Yeah, whoa, two thirty. Whoa, hold up. <laughs> Back to two thirty. <laughs> Back to two thirty. Whatever, I don't. Know. Uh, so right away, uh, with the furnace fun glitch activated, as soon as he enters into Mumbo's Mountain, uh, he's gonna have all the moves that he previously learned on his last file. Uh, which include the gold feathers, the, the eggs, and red feathers. So red red feathers, gold feathers, and blue eggs because you want the refill at the beginning for learning them. So he has all the moves that you would normally learn from bottles uh, just by doing the kind of fun glitch here in the mountain. Now uh, he's going to roll deep with the, what we call the termite skip. Um, and that avoids having to give Mumbo five Mumbo tokens. 
uh, which you would normally have to do to get one of the jiggies on top of this uh, mountain, because uh, you're supposed to not be able to get these slopes, which you're going to be seeing here soon. And outside of uh, Mumbo's Mountain, there's another jiggy that you need to, you're just supposed to have the turn right for, but he's going to skip there as well. So let's see how he rolls deep and gets this uh, turn right skip. Is. That is the first trick of the speed run. Speed run. Speed run. Yeah, oh. Oh, yeah, he. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> There's two different. Like, what he's doing there is he's hovering. Over the platforms, you can also just stay in Talon Trot and get this as well. Uh, I mean, that wasn't the worst thing that could have happened. He could have been stuck there for a lot longer. Yeah, if our honestly looks dumb. So basically, um, on that slope there, you have a very small window where you can do another jump. Get another jump off, and you have to do that successfully a few times in a row um, in order to get up that mountain like I just got up and get that big because you're supposed to have the turn right so that's basically what's going on here in Mumbo's Mountain. Uh, other than that he's just you know general movement and routing uh, to get these jiggies and ropes in correct order and remember that he doesn't have to go back to learn the moves that he normally would have in the older route when we didn't know about Thermos 1 you'd have to go back up and uh, talk to bottles and get the the, the, the moves that you need to get so he doesn't need to do that he just needs to get all the the jiggies and the notes because this is 100% run so you have to get all 100 notes if you end up for some odd reason, I don't know how this would happen, you end up dying on any of these levels. Uh, you lose all your note progress. If you haven't hit 100 yet, if you hit 100 notes, you're fine if you die, I guess. If you're not fine. But, uh, that's what happens. And so, you, he's basically, we, there's every world has 100 notes, uh, 10 jiggies, and 2 honeycomb pieces uh, that Zelda's gonna have to be collecting in each world. There's nine worlds all together, and there's an additional ten jiggies out in Brentilda's Lair. Um, so make that a, a total of 100 jiggies, 900 notes, and uh, I don't know the honey cone pieces, but... So he did... With the uh, combo there, you could have rolled deep as fuck and uh, did a little side shot from the side there. He decided to just do the normal thing, which is fine. But on one of these things, you can get a little side shot. And that was deep as fuck. Yeah. See, Bobo is uh, exclusive, but he only does like he only shoots like one A because he's pretty confident about that. So it's to watch him. He runs with this. He's pretty confident in his gameplay. He's so confident that he only shoots one egg there, and I'm absolutely sure. So when he collected those jiggies, so I, we'll see in a little bit here if uh, Zelda rolls deep as fuck. And when he collects the fifth Jinjo, because uh, when he collects five Jinjos, we get a jiggy. Uh, basically what he can do is collect the jiggy and jump in the water as he's collecting the jiggy, and that'll cancel the dancing animation uh, that he would have normally received. So if he can get that, he's going deep as fuck. Um, we'll see if he gets it or not. Um, that's what I'm looking at here. To see if he gets that or not. Um, other than that, he's pretty much good to go. He's got everything. But we'll see if he gets And also, there's a little trick that you can do if you let go of the Z button. Just before landing in the water, you'll immediately drop down to the bottom of the water. I'm pretty sure you're going to be seeing that a few times in this time. Um, and those other knows how to do that uh, by releasing Z and uh, you, uh, right before landing in the water. Um, there's some visual cues and stuff like that. Uh, Smasher explains it better and whatnot, so check that out. But um, you can you can drop down to the bottom of the water right after the talent drop. So. But just a fun fact, this is uh, one. This is uh, the first game I attempted to speed. This is what actually got me into speed running. 
it's this game right here and uh, i was interested and got it really intrigued into speedrunning um, in 2010 and uh, that's around the time I kind of figured out that uh, going fast in games is really cool to do. Let's see if uh, he's only got the jiggy thing. No, he just... Oh, he got in the water. Yeah, so by him jumping in the water, he didn't have to do the dance. Once you collect all ten jiggies, um, there's a huge like fanfare at the end. And if you actually collect that jiggy in the water, uh, you won't get that fanfare. It's much like when you're uh, in, if you're one of Mumbo's creatures or whatever, you won't get that fanfare. So we got uh, him trying to do the termite skip here. It's not going. <laughs> well, let's close your eyes for. <laughs> So there's a really steep slope here on this mountain, and um, basically you have to do a um, massive jump at the end and followed by a... Um, there you go. He got it. Like, we're not even going to say try, but we, he got oh, it, so... <laughs> that skips uh, having to pay Mumbo, the five Mumbo split. It, it helps with the, the routing of the Mumbo tokens. He has five more, or four or five more Mumbo tokens than he would normally have, and uh, that's just generally faster because you get text from uh, Mumbo saying that you have to get rid of the ant, or the termite, or the ant there, so speedrunners just get around that. So that was Mumbo's Mountain, the easiest world. Now we start to step into more difficult parts of the run. Uh, Treasure Show Cove is um, pretty hard to do optimally because you have a lot of flying that's really difficult. Like the fly movement is really hard to do. Uh, with the furnace fun moves, he's able to also open up Clanker's Cavern here, which you normally wouldn't have that that spring jump. You'd have to get that in uh, Treasure Show Cove and then come back here. But with the furnace fun moves, that just uh, being able to allow him to open up Clanker's Cavern there. <laughs> so there's a few interesting tricks here in uh, Treasure Show Cove. Um, most of what I was explaining here was like the flight movement is uh, if you're really, really good with the flight movement, you can pick up the notes without landing, you can pick up the jiggies without landing. Uh, picking up any jiggies while in flight uh, avoids the fanfare, so you want to do that at all cut like um, in any situation that you can get in. Like the fanfare of collecting jiggies is pretty slow, so uh, the ways to avoid that is in flight, underwater, or in a transformation state like uh, you know the termite or whatever. Um, you skip that, so. Here comes some of the flight movement coming up. Uh, be intrigued to see what we're gonna s <laughs> how this is gonna go. <laughs> oh, man, this swimming is already hard. So. so normally you're actually supposed to drop down immediately in there. That whole piece. Yeah, I, don't, I guess when I wasn't feeling the talent shot drop there. Or clicking uh, that mumbo stuff in there. So here comes the flight. And trying to collect this note uh, without landing, and then you want to go over to the chest and grab the jiggy without landing. Pull that off, I'll be pretty impressed. That RPG. Oh! Free! Free, 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 free! 
so he did pull it off. That is pretty tricky to do. The notes more difficult, I want to say, than the jiggy. The jiggy, you just get underneath the chest, and it should be good. Um, so he pulled it off there. If you don't pull it, you have to go back to the flight pad and uh, set that all back up. So it's pretty cool that he pulled that off. I'm pretty, uh, pretty proud of Zelda for that one. Um, so yeah, that rolled pretty deep. It, it did roll pretty deep. So now he's uh, continuing forward. The next big trick that's coming up is uh, the crab. Uh, what is his name? Clipper the clip. Nipper. Clippy, clip, nipper the clip. <laughs> nipper the nipple. <laughs> nipple clip. clip. Uh, <laughs> what you have to do is um, sort of um, like get inside of him by dropping down and challenge shot, and while the text comes up, you're kind of invulnerable-ish. Love and being inside of him. <laughs> you get inside Nipper. And optimally you won't get hurt there, and you can beat Bomb three times, as opposed to waiting for him to try to s hit you a couple times with his um, with his claws or what the fuck he's got there, uh, pincers or the fuck. So <laughs> <laughs> basically, Zelda's gonna attempt that, and. Um, you might get hit a few times attempting that's fine, but it could get you at a low health. And this is a problem for some of the newer runners, because if they get screwed by this and then they end up dying, uh, you're at, what, 50 notes or something at this point, and then you die and then it's fucked. Um, that's no good, but uh, we'll see what Zelma rolls out here. The little nipper, the nipple clip. Uh, Oh, he's doing things in a weird order. I don't. <laughs> I don't do this. I I thought he was going for nipple the nipple clips, but. It's fine. This is my exclusive route. I definitely didn't do things in this uh, order, but uh, that's fine. So he's collecting that yellow ginjo up there, he's gonna fall down, uh, you have to get the honeycomb, uh, ring, which is, uh, right in sharks, the shark's way, and he's like, do 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 Right, and so, that going on. Do 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 So now he's going to nipple clip clipper nipple. And he is not going for the, uh, I don't know skip. what to do with <laughs> I learned how to do that, and I don't know what's going on. Just do it. He's casualing it up! <laughs> I was trying to hurt me there for a second. It's like, look away for a second. What are you doing? So I guess one thing to note is uh, he will be routing out Mumbo tokens, and he will be trying to get enough Mumbo tokens by the end of Clock Woods to have enough for the B. Also, he's I I, I hope I want to say taking intentional damage there so he can uh, death warp at the end here. I, I'm pretty sure that's what that was going on there, not uh, he's getting hit on an accident or anything like that. But, uh, <sighs> But yeah, I did learn how to do the nipple clip clip. The, the nipper nipple clip. And it rolls pretty, pretty unfathomably deep. Oh my god. <laughs> how did that work? Just let it happen. Okay, so what he did there was he shot a couple eggs into the... Um, the bucket there, and it just so happened that he rolled it out first try because he's rolling that deep. Very nice. So instead of going down on that ledge where the bucket is, where normal casual people would do, he did it on the top ledge and he managed to do it pretty well. Shout out to that. 
So here he's trying to fly around and collect this jiggy without landing. We'll see if that happens. But turn that it didn't happen, so. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> you're supposed to collect those three notes that he ended up landing on the spring pad, and then you're supposed to go up and collect the jiggy, and you won't get the fanfare that uh, Zelma's, uh, you know, living it up with, and then, uh, sparking it up. And then you also collect the Jiggy, the Jinjo, and you skip that fanfare, which he's also living it up with. And uh, you fly over and get the uh, honeycomb piece that he's going to have to go swim up to. Uh... <laughs> Pretty good run so far. Uh, but at this point, he's basically wrapping up all. He's collecting all the rest of the notes, which I hope he got the ones from the chest to so get those or anything like that. And then uh, he's heading into the sand castle to finish it out, and he's going to death warp, hopefully. Um, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Which he will be death warping, hopefully, on this uh, black crab in the sand castle, uh, and death warping before grabbing the jiggy or anything like that. Um, and then that'll be the end of Treasure Show Cove, and he'll be heading on into Plinker's Cavern to get fired that up. So. That should be the whole level. If I miss something, I don't understand. Yeah, it looks jiggy, like you got, a, you got everything. Good. Yeah, because the last one's in the sand castle. And castles in the sand. Ah! You're good, Zone. As long as you death work properly. Alright, we've got all the notes. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you got them all? Yeah, he's good. He's good on this level. World. Just barely. He's got to do a little death warp on the black crowd here and see about that. A little death warp hype? So, ideally, you want a death warp on the last. So as soon as you grab the Jiggy, you fall down and you hit the Black Crab, and what that does is skips the animation of you getting this Jiggy, which I don't know if he's just playing it safe or doing what's just going on here, but fun out. No. Is that, is that right, Admiral uh, Nelson? Oh, we're having a little fanfare? <laughs> oh, we killed the- oh, okay! Alright, we're just uh, gonna exit out in, uh, casually here. <laughs> so normally you're supposed to death warp at that crab and it'll take you straight to the beginning of this, uh, area, this, uh, world. But uh, what happened there is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. we, killed, we killed the crab, uh, and then we just walked back to the end. And now we have uh, two honeycombs here, which is pretty deep. Pretty deep with two honeycombs. <laughs> and killing crabs and farming them? <laughs> ah, dude. Come on! But yeah, the N64 uh, version of this game is far superior to the Xbox 360 version. You cannot skip the text with uh, holding LR and BZ, whatever it is, combination. You have to sit there through the text in the Xbox 360 Live Arcade version, uh, which Microsoft completely fucked up and uh, screwed this game over, but... Uh, Rolling on forward here, uh, into Peter's Cavern. This level is pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll see what kind of interesting routing we're gonna have here. Let's see if Zelna gets the trick right at the beginning, which I hope he does. 
No, he does not. He... <laughs> I don't know. He falls down and goes all the way around. Okay. So, normal, right when you enter into Clinker's Cavern, go into Talon Trot, and you can jump right on the side, which I did in my PB, and you could jump right on the side of that, and you don't have to go up the, climb up the ladder and slow roll it, uh, as you've seen here. So, continue forward, um, sparking it up with the rest of Clinker's Cavern here. Uh, no, uh, no drop in the water there. So right away, I think he's going to go down and uh, release Clanker from his chains. We'll see about that. And then you have to collect bubbles from the little bubble boy. Mr. Bubble little boy. bubble boy. <laughs> yeah, um, there he is. So you can uh, end up uh, potentially drowning here if you don't find the bubble boy. Uh, we'll see how that rolls out. He's gonna swim up. So basic routing. He's just gonna go around and try. To as possible. Um, you uh, do end up uh, collecting the gold feather upgrade on this level because uh, and this is the last uh, bottles upgrade that you're going to need with the furnace fun glitch. He's already got the red feather upgrade and the egg upgrade and this will be the final one. Wow! Whoa! Better not be hearing that in the rusty bucket bay. Mmm, that level is really good. Really good. <laughs> so you just kind of try to do things in fashion here, where you're just going around sort of in a circle here. Um, like from, you know, like from the right all over, like in a clockwise or counterclockwise, kind of whatever, um, kind of way to collect everything here. And you have to go in the whale a couple times, uh, one from the tooth, which we're seeing here, and the one from the uh, front piece, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go in and out a few times. Uh... <laughs> you go in the well, so he's starting with the tooth here, you go right in, and then he's going to maze the hoop bug in the game, and then he's going to leave and come back later to get the other way. Uh, wrong so way he's in the nose. Shout out to everyone holding it down, rolling deep for the banjo kazoo, 100% man, rolling deep near fun. Better be fucking hyped tomorrow. Bomberman fucking fun. Bomberman block. Bomberman block is gonna be blasting off, sparking up. We got six Bomberman games back to back to back to back to back to back. Fuckers, ready, ready. Uh, oh, I missed the cycle. So that little tin piece goes out of the way on. So he missed the note, so they're right in. Go on top and uh, switch the route around a little bit. Uh... Bing, 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 bing. Do, 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 do. 
Jadi So we try to get up there without the use of the whale's uh, little fin, but uh, didn't work out there. Uh, <laughs> Well, it's quite interesting. The red I usually use, but okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's like a little jump that you can do here, and it's pretty precise. Or you can uh, backflip back onto the cylinder that he would launch didn't work at all. And it was actually really disgraceful. But it does save time because you have to go all the way back up there again. And... I actually use the tail to go back and I don't go back on here because it fails. I go on the tail and just go from there. But I mean, this works too, I guess. Oh, you see that RPG? You see that? I'm watching. Oh, okay, that was pretty good. A little bit here. Mm -hmm. You made the cycle okay, just barely. Okay. It's pretty dumb. I get chopped up by the swamp legs, boy! All you gotta do is I'll just walk on the side a little bit. What are you doing there, boy? Come, boy. Come, boy. Come, boy. Come, boy. Come, boy. Come, boy. Luckily, when you talk to bottles again, you get a little refill. Sure. Do 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 So if you, in a particular way, run on the right side here, which, and then you kind of come in the middle and grab those jiggies. That was actually really nice of you to that jiggy. That was, that was uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little, little bit, a little bit fresh, a little bit fly. You get hit on the... Not even on the return trip. Hmm. That's pretty good. I'm sure it's harder in the first part. If yeah, because you gotta get the jiggies on the way there. Or the no no so. so that's the last time he has to go in the whale. Everything else is uh, on the outside. So Clanker's Cavern is pretty pretty short. It should only take about like 10 minutes or so. And... And uh, by grabbing that jiggy underwater, he doesn't have fanfare. So it's like if he were to grab that, like another Jinjo that was on land uh, for the fifth one, and then collect the jiggy, he would have to have another fanfare there. So it's just perfectly rounded out that way. <laughs> uh huh. But chat is still you blah blah. Oh. Still do blah blah. For holding the world record at two hours and four minutes and four seconds. That's pretty fresh. The problem is, it's a segment. It, uh, he dropped uh, frames, or what he like dropped um, his stream like a couple times during that one, which is really unfortunate because. That time is pretty perfect, you know. Two hours, four minutes, and twenty seconds. Two, four, twenty, twenty-four, twenty. Uh, hello. <coughs> so at the very end here, he uh, he's gonna have all the notes. He's gonna grab the final jiggy, the, um, and then at the end, he's gonna grab the final honeycomb piece. And uh, he'll die just around that time, so if routed out correctly, this will work. Hopefully. 
If not, he might die a little early in the... <laughs> Or miss the uh, onicom piece in the pipe. <laughs> yeah. Go we'll right next happens. to it, and then. Uh, yeah. It is kind of tricky to get because it's like right in the middle of the little pipe, so. Win me! Oh, yeah. So he has all 100 notes, all 10 J. He just used that last one. That's what I like to hear. Which this can be a little bit risky because, uh. Just a little bit! I got it. Is this a speed yeah. run? Well, not quite. Playing smoke along with green leaf. Yeah, this is uh, a wannabe speeder. Pretty clean. So that was a pretty good ending. Like the last part of that, I think this level was good, but there was a few little hiccups. We all know so well this must be a squad! A speed run! So, next up, we have Bubble Goop Swamp. Uh, shit swoop, shitty, 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 um, swamp here. Um, there is uh, lovely mini games such as the Turtle uh, Memory Match game and the uh, Crocodile uh, and the uh, Mr. Vile mini game uh, included. Which will be lots of fun for Zelda. Mm -hmm. Three minutes of joy. Is that the red crocodile guy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's if you fail that mini game, you have to start from the very beginning of the mini game, and each one has like what ninety seconds or something. Oh yeah. So you have to read it like yeah, you, it's a time like it's uh, based on a, you have to sit there for ninety seconds in each mini game. That's what I like to hear. So bottom line, he better not be failing the. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Other than that, Bubble Goose Swamp is honestly a pretty. I like. I like it. I like the 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 world. I just don't like the two mini games, the memory match and the frog. Other than that, I think it's a cool level. It goes by pretty smooth, pretty clean. But then you get those mini games that suck. Really cool level, really fun, and then you know. <laughs> you know, crocodile in the game, yeah! What, what the? Whoa! This camera, man! Did you see that? It's like right, right when I'm about to jump. <laughs> nope, we're gonna <laughs> fuck you up! Oh yeah. Hey, Kazno, and Matsuki. So basically, he's going towards unlocking Freezy's Peak, which he just did. And uh, you have to go side by side in this little pipe. He did really good. He really that's actually really good. Inside the pipe. Before he got to the pipe, he got a little uh, a little, <laughs> a little, little piranha playing in action, but uh, he made the uh, piranha fish, right? Well, we're not getting that one. <laughs> It is really tricky inside that pipe uh, to. to oh, come on. He got the honeycomb back up. Which. So here, uh, normally you would have to get the uh, boots if you didn't have the Fermi's Fun moves. You'd have to get the uh, boots here. And uh, shooting these crocodiles from a distance uh, is a rolling deep method that uh, Zelen needs to maybe, uh, maybe re revitalize here. Rainbow <laughs> Blue Swamp. Uh, on it, like it's a. I, I like it aside from the two mini games, so we'll see. Right away, uh, he's gonna go straight into the bubble shit. 
water and collect the notes, and then you can get this egg. He's got to hit it from several different angles and collect the jiggy. At the very end of this level, he wants to be at one honeycomb because he wants a death warp as the crocodile. Back to the beginning. <clears throat> so we'll see if he routes that out cleanly. The problem with trying to do that is you might, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, lose the crocodile mini game and lose some health there, or lose the uh, mini match game and lose some health there. I, I, I don't know. That might happen. But other than that, uh, you use the gold feathers here on the frog, so shortly after he gets this jiggy at the end of this uh, little, uh... Little Wadi The Never Passenger! But you do have to be careful not to fall here, uh, without collecting the jiggy and all the nuts. And, um, oh, yeah. Fuck that little, uh, mumbo token as well, ball! Huh? 49 eggs, that's probably more than more than sufficient. Uh, the eggs actually become tight towards the end because you have to use a lot of eggs. Especially if Zelma's not doing the uh, rolling deep go before she's been on uh, I might have to say a few things about that when it comes up, but yeah. No go be closer, Kill those frogs. Yeah, by just using the gold feather there, in the one you would have to hit him twice with the beak card, or roll on him like three or four times, or like a couple hits with the gold feathers. It's an immediate kill. It's the fastest way to deal with that. And here you can skip a few cuts. Um, we saw the first skip from Zelda. We saw the second skip from Zelda. The huts. And we're probably not going to see the third, because that one's probably <laughs> nope. impossible. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Only 70 Bobo and a few other people, uh, like, like the people down. In the fourth one, you can also skip, um, entirely. It's like right can, at you, the top, so if you fuck it up. Well. Right at the top, you can shoot uh, an egg towards the red one and not have to go over to where he is, which I can tell him just, well... He did shoot across there, but he missed a few times, you know, I saw that, but... <laughs> uh, where's the crocodile? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so you can skip a couple of those, you can skip the last two, you can honestly skip all the huts towards the top, but he decided to just use the spring for a couple of them. Uh, for the marathon purposes. So, then he's gonna roll over here, he's gonna hit this, uh... Last crocodile, and then he's gonna head um, over to the memory match game, which rolls because you have to memorize which turtles uh, to hit in consecutive order. And uh, if you fail, you lose a uh, honeycomb. Oh, yes. So hopefully the turtle uh, memory match game is pretty good. We'll see how that goes. That's not right, the uh, Admiral Nelson. So, so far, I mean, pretty okay. I mean, the first few worlds are pretty straightforward, honestly. Uh, it's towards the end, uh, which this, this run gets rid so which is um, why it's kind of stressful in Banjo Kazooie runs, because the last few worlds, um, Rusty Bucket Bay and Clip Clock Woods and, you know, the Furnace One uh, skip and all that, like, towards the end is pretty stressful. Uh, if you're on a really good run, if you fuck up some of that, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know. That sucks, but... <laughs> but here comes the turtle memory match game. So he has to hit the turtles in consecutive order, which they come up and uh, it, like the first couple are pretty like it's only like a few, and then the last one is really fucking bullshit. But it's, it's...
Hello. Mm. Let's bust out the notepad here. Correct turtle that you hit takes a, uh, a honeycomb. So if you are, you know, playing on the edge, living on the edge, on a, you know, speed run, I don't know, like to use a really low health, because you want a death warp at the end of this world, and uh, this can be a problem if you fail the turtle memory match game because uh, you lose a little bit more health than you expected to lose there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, Ethan, the fat host? Thank you, and welcome to this bad game. Dee 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 So up next, uh, yes, yeah, so we'll roll over to the crocodile area, so... There's one Jiggy he kind of has to hit, like he's got 10 seconds to grab after ground pounding a switch. Um, usually by using the uh, shadow of Banjo, you can see where he lands, so that's what he is there. And then he's going to turn into a crocodile, a main crocodile. And then he's going to have a little little exhibition with uh, Vile the uh, Red Crocodile. Followed by the uh, end of this world, so I mean, it's a, it's like I honestly don't really mind this world too much. It's just the yeah, the two mini games. the two mini games that make it kind of bullshit. But this it is, is what it is. Yeah, the this this jiggy here he has to grab is. Fat host from a fat man. Well, you're the one seeing it. He's not even fat. This drinks a little bit too much and doesn't work out as much as I want. He's not wrestling. <laughs> So he didn't fall there. If you fall trying to get it's a minute almost. So now he's turning into a crocodile and he has to do the mini game with the Which uh luckily um in Fern with Furnace Fun moves unlocked, uh you do have the speed uh, shoes. He does have the speed shoes that um, he'll be able to use. Running shoes, so that helps quite a bit. I mean, uh, on the older routes, uh, we used to not have the speed shoe, the running shoes, so you would have to uh, do that without it, which made it a bit trickier, especially for the newer players uh, who would lose that mini game without having like the shoes really do help. Um, so that helps quite a bit with furnace fun moves and makes it a little bit smoother and um at after the vile minigame he's gonna grab the rest of the notes and the last jiggy that he needs and he's gonna death warp um from one of the dragonflies i believe is what they're called um he's gonna death warp and that'll save him a little bit of time in there at the end of See how this crocodile minigame goes? Um, he has to, for the first minigame, collect only red uh, little gooblies, 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 And then for the second one, um, he has to collect anything, and it's still only red, there's yellow ones that appear, and you can't even 
And then the third one, it uh, switches back and forth between uh, collecting uh, yellow and red. Uh, completely in, uh... <laughs> and uh, that's the best one to lose your uh, lose on because then you have to do all yeah, three of them. Three minutes. That's one more than three minutes because the text between. The two. Yo, that 39, that's my record. <laughs> 39 for the first round. Okay. Does it there's a happy, he's like, grr, grr. There's a time limit at the bottom left, and the game's not over until it's over, so there's nothing that you can speed this up. Uh, you can grab the item, you can grab the eggs and the feathers on the side during this time, and this uh, actually does have a rubber banding effect, where if the uh, if you have more... Yumblies? Bumblies? Rumblies? Bumblebees? If you have more uh, yummies than the crocodile, you uh, he'll go faster. So if, and if you have less, he'll go slower. So it has a rubber banding effect in that sense. So let's just let go and do The best thing you can really do is cut him off um, if you can, and see where he's going. Like, make sure that uh, cut him. Like, make sure he doesn't get the one he's after. And you get it instead. Uh, that really screws him up. Uh, you can kind of look at the NPC and stuff. So he's in the final mini game. Right? My boy Kurt Q uh, might actually be able to make it. I got so unlucky, like... Oh! Yeah, and uh, this guy's gonna kill me. Run, run, run. Well, we just lost three minutes. Uh, th that's how you lose a run. In case you like this mini game, uh, well, we'll do it uh, another time. There's a mumble talking token here, but I can't see it. So that's uh, that's really unfortunate, and it happens um, even with the running shoes. Um, I mean, you, 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 like I said, you want to cut him off if possible, um, and make sure he doesn't get the ones he's going after, and you know, make, like try to reduce the ones that he gets. And you want to do um, like like I said, there's a rubber banding effect where he goes faster if you have more so if you have like a bunch of more like i think every one that you collect makes you speed up i don't know at what point that gets capped off or whatnot but he continues to just kind of go faster the first couple of mini games are honestly a lot like, pretty easy the third one can be troll because like it switches between the yumblies or yumblies or fucking gummy fucking fox and, uh, and the thing is that Zell's done a one little honeycomb. I'm gonna get a little bit up here if he fucks up here. He doesn't have all the nuts, so... <laughs> He's gonna fuck this up! Yeah, 
and Kirk Q has joined the Discord. Shut up, Slayer. Somebody better. Well, I guess he's not even. He's not a runner. I like how everybody in the fucking Discord is not. Kirk Hughes will only be Tricone Pan. Also, uh, Evil Ash has made it too. That was the victory music I heard. <laughs> Thank God. He was out of one honeycomb. He'd have to really maneuver away from the hopper if he lost. Because he would have got a hit again, which he's pretty good at fucking you over and you. Um, like, he's faster than you. So, had he had died, he, he didn't have all the notes. He would have had to go retrace his steps. That would have been fun. Oh, yeah. So at this point, uh, he just needs to make sure he doesn't die before collecting all the notes. And uh, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll just let it be. If the dragonfly kills him, he will act so on him. Oh my gosh, it's running away. Yeah, it's... Okay. <laughs> it, it, it's happened to me before, where I died. Both like no honey. You do want to be at one honeycomb at this point. You do want to make that death warp happen, but like, it's sketchy because the dra it's it's RNG where the dragonfly is gonna go. So, it, like it like honestly, it wouldn't have been like. The worst if he would have grabbed a honey, like an extra honeycomb piece. That was yeah, that losing day. to Croc and die at 99 notes. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's already lost like three half minutes, three and a half minutes or so. Because... so. <sighs> Next up, uh, we're going to a Bleed Freezy's and there's a Mad Moss one. Do 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 What he did there was uh, he got on top of the. You know, that was a bit ago, but he um, skipped having to take the spring uh, from right before Gobi's Valley and head down the pot, the gold pot, to fall down and collect the jiggy. He just um, used the spring back there to jump on the finger of Gruntilda's little mannequin or statue, whatever. And uh, he was able to jump up and grab the, you know, put it fall down from there, um, which saves some backtracking later on. Other than that, he's setting it all up. There's a few things he has to do. World, like open up Gobies, open up Mad Monster Mansion. He's already, he's already got Freeze Easy up. But he's got to open up Gobies as well. I. I think Gobi's is next, right? Uh, yes. 
So he's heading to Gobies, and uh, you're not going to be seeing the Gobi clip, unfortunately. But uh, there's a frame. Like, this is a it's, really hard level because your health management is really tight. Health management is really, really tight. Um, with Gobi's clip, it's like basically. It's, I mean, the good thing is it's right at the beginning of Gobi, so if you mess it up, and I don't know, like, you don't have like a really good time, like you can still go back and do it again. But the Gobi clip doesn't really save all that much. It saves like four eggs, or like it saves eggs. And it says I can go up on top of the Sphinx and shoot into the nose. Uh, and it's right along the way, plucking the notes and then you know, those things on the outside. So I don't know exactly how much time it saves. It really depends on how good your Gobi flip is. Because you can fail it, you know, once or twice, still get it, and still get in there. Um, but we're not going to be seeing that, unfortunately. It's easier on emulator for whatever reason. Really doesn't make any sense to me because it's like well, what changes, what what's different between emulator and console to where <laughs> certain pixels are different. But the Gobi clip, you basically have to get some pretty good camera angles, and then you have to uh, beak barge inside of the Sphinx from the side after. Often you're going to collect the mobile token and the notes that you saw him collect a little bit ago. And then you're going to jump into the quicksand and uh, set up a little bit and get a, you know, you have to get a camera angle and then you have to beat guard and get inside there. Um, I have it in my PB and I do it in all my runs. I would have, if, if me and Zona were racing right now, I would have gone for a good equip. So you would have seen some of that action, but I decided not to race on them because commentary would have been better. And uh, I have like six games to do tomorrow. So... so he's shooting eggs inside of the nose, get inside the Sphinx instead. On this magic carpet ride, a whole new world, a whole new vagina for me to rip and shred and tear apart. I'm ripping it open and finding my way inside of that hole. The hole, the Cautious with eggs and grab uh, Phoenix Rollins. <laughs> and I don't blame him. Later on in the run, you do need eggs. I'm not entirely sure. I, I think he's definitely fine on eggs, but you know, it doesn't hurt to grab more. Because uh, you do need to shoot three eggs into each of the little mini Sphinx outside of. The main pyramid here coming up. He didn't like. He just grabbed a few eggs and uh, it was a at that point. But. And then rolling deep. He's using the fly pen to activate all of these rings which he just did and then now I think he's gonna go up and hit the target and go inside and then and he's gonna have to go back around and use the flight pad again later to get the honeycomb. I don't I don't think he does the D but he might. Do you do you do the D the do the D boost to get to the the cactus? Yes. Okay, so you're gonna be seeing that and I believe the uh, other strat the, it's like an older strat, but it's still pretty good. Where he will um, be in Talonshot, he's gonna go up to the side. He's gonna go up on top of the thing, and he's gonna he's gonna jump on on a slope to get to the hand to grab it, and he's gonna grab the jiggy in that that way. So he's rolling deep, and, and the snake charmer. Good again. 
man. I'm cracking up as smart as fucking Admiral Nelson right now. <laughs> none of them went in the pot. Like the first six. None of them. He's got a shit eggs into this pot. Which... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, I usually grab the notes before I even attempt that, but... Um, he's just shitting... You can... Like, you could run up to these eggs and recollect them if you shit them out. I, 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 mean, I don't know, I mean, just imagine a bear running fucking birds of shit that he's shitting. I mean, whatever. I mean, so you do that, and then you just get on top of this, and then he's gotta get all these notes and all this shit. that going on. So he's got that out of the way. He's got 14 Mumbo tokens, which he's gonna need 15 for the freezies and heat coming up. And, um... I don't remember how to do that. So no! no okay. Are we not getting Grabba's, uh, Jiggy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're not optimally grabbing notes here in the exam. We're just kind of grabbing yeah, a few here and there. Just a few here and there, though. So grab his Jiggy, what he's supposed to do is he's supposed to talent trot, go up on top of this hill, and then jump on the hand, which I, he's... I, we're seeing none of that. We saw none of that. So he's going for the running <laughs> I shoes. I don't remember the optimally. to climb the he, wall. He's just going to grab the running shoes and do it the intended way here, is what we're seeing. Uh, I don't know why the fuck he grabbed the uh, the green shoes, but he did. I'm probably refresh here by taking a sip of this Captain uh, Nelson. Uh, no, that's not this one. So I, I mean, he attempted. To, so what we saw is Zelda tried to do one dance where he. Goes on top of the slope with the talent shot, and you jump onto the grabba, and he didn't wasn't able to get that because he hasn't obviously practiced. But what the newer route implies is that you will actually um, beat bomb into it with uh, the flight. You'll get the flight and you'll beat bomb into it on a second route back around. And this route is a is an older route that Zelm is using. And I actually picked up one of the newer routes, but I definitely didn't do all the optimal strat, like, like, per, like, because it's really, this, Gobi's Valley to do optimally is really fucking difficult, and only Stibity Bobo, Stibity Blah Blah! Stibity Blah Blah! Huh? Jiggy, 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 I think he's doing the puzzle, but Zelda's doing the puzzle right now. I think he rolled feathered trick to the money out of the... Not this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one. Okay, it's better. <laughs> not remembering where the tile, uh, memory, memory tiles nope, are. Nope, not this one. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I mean, these tiles are always the same. So, if you speedrun this game, if you speedrun this game, you know where the tiles are, you know where the matches. It's like... It's not gonna be different any time, so you know what you're doing, but... Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. It's right next to you! Oh, fuck it, you fucked up his leg! You fucked up his leg! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Richard? Are you alright? <laughs> He's coughing over there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but in 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 good uh, the new good news is uh, we have Kurt Q in the Discord. Um, at this point, uh, it looks like he may or may not be able to attend the following generation runs this yeah, tomorrow. But, uh, I didn't even notice he joined. He joined. I yeah. He joined. He's in. But the thing is, he has work and all this. And I don't know if he's gonna be able to.
Yeah, so what, uh, it was an interesting strat that you saw there- oh, ah! <laughs> Is that Are what the strat called? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the second try, he got the cactus, uh, the cactus, uh, cactus So he's, he takes a damage boost from the grab a hand and clearly he's over there grabbing the fucking honeycomb from the- <laughs> <laughs> This strat called the- wow! <laughs> And so here, uh, this is actually really hard to get up this pyramid. I think he still did. So you grab all the notes on the way up the pyramid. You have to go do that because otherwise you have to go to the pyramid again and again anyway. So you are on. You have the running shoes. You run up this pyramid. You grab all the notes, and you get up on top. And you just so happen to make it just in time, usually. Um, which is something that I actually just did, which is good. Uh, some people, a lot of the newer runners, definitely. I've had issues with it where you don't make it. Um, in time, and if you grab this jiggy when you're underwater, it um, you pressure it, it opens up the door and all the water. Flies. So we're uh, we're raising King Sandy Bucks King right now. That's what we're doing? So he's he has to hit all these things. He's got to hit him three eggs in each face's mouth. And he's got to swim around the inside of the uh, water area there and grab. There's a Jinjo and there's a bunch of notes. He's got a grit. He goes in the sand. And then there's another little trick in the maze where he's got to go on a slope and then jump on off the slope area on top of the maze on the, the little ridges of the maze, which we are definitely going to be seeing, right, Zone? Yeah. Uh, yes. Where he's gonna jump off the slope on top of the maze area, on top of the border areas, get on that shit, and he's gonna go over the maze. He's not gonna have to go through the maze or anything like that, right? Yeah. Sunday <laughs> <laughs> Bucks Tom, what? Get the wall here. He didn't even go for the backup. What? What is this shit? Zone? What the fuck? Oh, there's a backup. <laughs> okay, but you don't have to hit the grunny switch because outside, I don't. I'm not got it or not, you hit the, uh, the spring jump and you can get right inside the, the Golden Sphinx um, tome thing and basically you don't have to open up the, uh, the granny thing because you can, the hitbox of the Jiggy is right out, so like it's, it exists outside the Sphinx uh, tome and you can uh, just uh, either flip, flap, flip, flip, flap, 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 flip, flip, flap, flap, flap. Right as hell. <laughs> right outside of it. And that works just, just, just the same as you uh, collect or hitting that funny switch and you can collect the jiggy right outside. So, at this point, uh, Zelda is just about done with Gobi's Valley. He's going to collect the final uh, jiggy here, which he just did, which uh, did the tree. And then he's going to go over to Gobi and get the final honeycomb. Piece, and he's gonna collect the other five jig, and he's gonna death warp, I believe. Death warp pipe to go back to the beginning here, and then uh, that's gonna complete Gobi's Valley. And next up, we have uh, Mad Monsters Mansion. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is my favorite area. But uh, let's see if that's what uh, Zelma's about to say when he doesn't do the fucking optimal round. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, okay. Ah. What to do now? What do you do? As long as you didn't die without getting the fucking... <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> We're just gonna wait here. 
You better not fall off that fucking carpet zone. You don't have all 100 notes here. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, quite an exciting end to the Gobi's Valley here. <laughs> Yo, rolling on Aladdin's carpet. <laughs> that was scary, man. On this pretty magic deep. carpet ride, a whole oh, new vagina. Some brand new tits for, for me my to squeeze. To my dick just slides right in between those double D's, and I just shoot my nut all over her face. Okay. So this is uh, with the furnace fault. We used to, I think, go to Gobi's Valley after um, Three Z's and Peak, which was kind of a hassle, and you'd have to come and learn. The furnace fun news, we can just go to, you know, individually these little... And, um, so now we're gonna get a refill here on you know, Mad Monster Mansion, which is really, really nice because uh, Mad Monster Mansions could be rough. And uh, we're gonna have a little, little adventure here. Jiggy here. She finally... Okay. Mm -hmm. So he opened up that spider web, which is actually pretty important. I didn't see him get the other warp uh, from the cauldron, but, uh, you know, uh, maybe he'll get it on the way back. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Um, We're opening Mad Monster Mansion. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did that other cauldron. Uh, Yes, after. So, Mad Monsters Mansion is my favorite world. Along with, like, Freeze Easy Peak. Gobi's Valley. And, uh, what I really like about Banjo Kazooie is the world's really, like, I, I honestly, like, don't really have too many complaints with too many, like, besides, like, you know. Bubble goop shit swamp with the uh, bio and all this uh, nonsense. Uh, it's a pretty good, like, the game is pretty uh, solid. Whereas, like, Banjo 2E just has a bunch of shitty worlds with a bunch of shitty mini games. Shit, all over the place. Um, <coughs> <laughs> Here, uh, Mad Monsters Mansion is a really cool fucking world. Um, you can memorize the uh, the piano uh, at an advanced level. I'm not sure if someone will be uh, rolling that deep, but uh, you can memorize. I'm not going to memorize the piano, and I'm not going to memorize the organ either. <laughs> well, the organ. So you can memorize how these keys are pressed, um, so you don't have to wait for the hand to show you what to do. Um, and you'll see all the advanced players definitely doing that. And uh, other than that, I really like the music to Mad Monster Mansion. I really like the the dark side to Mad Monster Mansion. It's uh, pretty legit. Uh, it's a lot like you know Shadow Temple of Ogre in a Time, which is uh, super dark for a Nintendo game. Um, just have a pretty dark setting there and. Uh, I, I, I don't I don't get it. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't Mad, Oh, that, yeah, Mad Monster Mansion. Oh, I'm Mad Monsters, bro! Yeah, we're going to Mad Monster Mansion. That's yeah, Mad going. Monsters, then Freeze Easy, and Musty, uh, Musty what now? I was like, something's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something's not right about going that way. Now you're heading to Mad Monsters. So, like I said, Mad Mouse Mansion is my favorite. Um, I like I like everything about the the dungeon or the world. Um, 
you have to spend 20 mumbo tokens here and then 15 in freeze easy so i'm not sure where is on or what's going on with his mumbo token okay, hopefully he's on point uh because he's gonna need 20 yeah i got mumbo 20 token. or more right now okay so he's, he's gonna use 20 to get the pumpkin here and then he's gonna need another next world so this is where the mumbo token thing is and then like soon after you need 25 in the fuck wood so this is where you really need to be on point with your uh, mumbo token so uh this is looking pretty good so far uh for mumbo uh, token <laughs> Um, two bats, please. Hello? Come on! Interesting little, a little routing here. You don't have to kill these uh, wall enemies, uh, little slime bags, little fuck bags, uh, little skeleton fuck asses, uh, whatever you want to fucking classify them as. Uh, you can just talent trot as close to the wall as possible and uh, you won't get hit. Um, so usually you don't have to kill them. But you can always kill him if you don't feel confident with mint or whatever it is. So. Fell off the chair there. Well, at least you did. <laughs> at least you got the jiggy. <laughs> he did that. Because <laughs> if you fought, if you hit the wooden floor before uh, clicking that jiggy, the guy wakes up and then you have to re-enter the. Room. The area, and you pretty much have to. You have to come from the chimney. So basically, if like Zelda were to fuck that, he would have kind of to like, go back up the top. Um, or I think as, like walking really slowly is okay or something like that. I just, but nobody wants it. So now we're going through the. He's going through the labyrinth. I, he doesn't. Roll, does he roll deep enough to do the the jump? He does. He rolls deep with the jump now. So you jump off the honeycomb guy and onto the green pad. Uh, he does a little fucking pussy strap at the end of that. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did a little pussy strap where you fucking went on the other green pad. You're supposed to jump straight over, you fuck ass. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you, you're supposed to use fucking gold feathers for these fucking tones. I have to fight them with my rat attack. I was going to rat attack, rock them. No, did not mean to do that. But that wastes time, and yeah. So there you go. And then you go on the top of this church area, and you get the jiggy up there, and then, uh, or, or or you don't, or you just go for the pumpkin. Uh, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. I, I honestly, I, 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 I'm, I'm lost. Oh, I got it. 
But optionally, you're trying to collect these notes while on the ice. Well, you jump off the icicle thing and grab the notes, which uh, I don't know what's happening here. And then, uh. <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely, definitely not an optimal, uh. <laughs> little section here. Um, Isn't that right, Admiral? Fucking Wet Nelson. Right, he's taking damage from the ghost. He's not collecting notes uh, before finishing this. So there is a jump coming up. Well, we might see, I don't know, I honestly don't know at this point, um, where he's trying to get to the well from on top of the, the vine, like he'll take a damage boost and then go over it, I, I don't know if that's what we're going to see. Well, that was a good effort. Uh... <laughs> I mean, at least he tried, I guess, to do something. Where you go, you grab the all the caves, and then you go on the. Okay, okay, it looks good for a second, and then nope, you didn't make it at all. And what is? <laughs> but normally, what you could do is jump on top of the vine area there, um, where he tried to kind of jump there. And go straight into the well from there, um, which didn't happen, but uh, that's okay. Now, what's going to happen is uh, if you're really optimal with the swimming here, you can grab the jiggy and all the notes without going up to breathe for air, but uh, we'll see if that happens. I don't know. How about that RPG? I <laughs> think he did do it. <laughs> okay, he got it. So. You grab the mumbo token, you grab all the notes and the jiggy in there, and then you go out without having to um, come up for air before you do that. That was actually pretty, that was really good movement. I had to do it too much. Got little eggs on the side there. He's actually got 10 eggs at this point. He's gonna need some more later. Thanks for reminding. <laughs> and he did not get the uh, the strat where you um, collect the, 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 the blue Jinjo there, will drop the Jiggy right, and then you jump in the water, uh, the, the, the green water there. And uh, what will happen there is it'll skip the fanfare, but we have a little fanfare. And so now he's getting into the cathedral, uh, where he will enter the cathedral, and then he'll uh, will play a little organ there after uh, collecting a few notes. So the gold feathers are used to kill these gold ghosts or these green ghosts. I mean, the ganja ghosts on the sides. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna use the uh, gold feathers to kill them. That's the only thing that can kill them. And, uh, this is going on here, and then he's gonna maybe possibly collect the jiggy with uh, uh, without landing. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, uh, that's gonna happen or not, but uh, that's what you normally do in a, in a speed run about Ninja Kazooie, and uh, you know just uh, just just jiggling on the, the foot pedals there for a little bit, just having a little fun. Playing the organ uh, nice and slow. I do believe we are on sub 250. I don't know. I, I, I really. That, that vile action was pretty. Shit. This is still sub 3 hour space, but sub 250. That's pushing it. So, 
of the organ playing here. We'll see if Zelma rolls that deep to where he uh, collects the jiggy without landing in, in flight, which he may not even go for at all, honestly. <laughs> Uh, but you get on top, you get a honeycomb piece, and you collect the... You, you hit the Gruntilda switch, and then you try to land on the other side where he... There's other, there's another two notes on the, the bench. I'm gonna try to land on. Dude, idiot. Fucking. <laughs> 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 okay, so he's not going to attempt the uh, the flight. Well, what you're supposed to do is um, skip the jiggy there, grab the notes, and go over to the flight pad, and uh, just so happen to grab the jiggy without landing, and uh, that'll save time in the fan fare, but, uh, you know, I mean, not everyone can roll that deep, so it's really good. Um, another little trick after Mad Monster Mansion and uh, Feces Peak is he's going to have to grab that Jiggy that was inside the eye that you just saw and uh, without landing, and we'll see how that goes later on the ring. But uh, as of now, we're just falling down. And after, so what he did there, uh, you actually saw, actually, he, had a pretty, he actually rolled pretty deep there for a second. He ground pounded the. Uh, at the very top there, he ground pounded, and that reduced, like, he wasn't, he didn't take any damage when he fell all the way to the bottom. Uh, that avoids taking any damage. That, it's, uh, like, invincibility. It's, like, it's like falling invincibility or something like that. I don't know what exactly, but he rolled deep down, and that was pretty fresh. Now he's gonna grab the Jiggy on top of the cathedral here. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And then he's gonna turn into a pumpkin and finish out the rest of uh, Mad Monster's Mansion before ending Free Season Peak, which is another uh, hardcore uh, world. There you go. I don't, I don't think there is. No. But you know, you can check all your So there you go. Uh, you got it. <laughs> well, no washing machines so far. So there's a RNG chance that it actually does kill a lot of really high uh, level speed runs. Where if you try to transform with Mumbo, whatever it is, uh, there's a slight chance that you can turn into a washing machine. And there's also a slight chance that you can do absolutely nothing. He'll, trans he'll try to transform and it'll, nothing will happen. It's like, ha 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 ha. It's like, that's always fun. And you can tell if your uh, Mumbo token count doesn't go down. Tell in advance if you're gonna turn into a washing machine. And that's just a time loss that you can do nothing about. It's pretty rare. Like, I don't. It seems like it doesn't happen um, too often, but if you're on pace and the game's just not feeling it, it's just. Just be aware of that. So now we're just gonna flush down the toilet and just fucking. <laughs> so. Yeah. And you finish this out as the pumpkin, you leave as the pumpkin, and then he just collected his last shiggies, got all the notes. Good to go. 
I believe he grabbed the... Beast. I forget, I didn't see it though. Very good. And so basically he's got it full. Did you grab it? Did you grab it? Yeah. And at this point, uh, at the very end, so what he's gonna do here, he's gonna go to this little hut here, which he opened up earlier, so that way the pumpkin can come in here. And he's gonna go into this uh, house, this haunted house, this whatever the fuck. Uh, switch back into Banjo with, uh, with the help of Mumbo, and then he's gonna decrease the, or increase the water height, the, the, hot, the height of the water. Idiot! And then he's gonna save and quit, and immediately reset his console. And then at that point he's gonna go back up, he should have the warp ready to go with the cauldron. Yeah. <laughs> Or get fucked by the green ghost a few more times, well. And then... At this point, he is going to head over to Freeze Easy Peak. And fire that up, so... The, the good news is, like, with, with the old route, before Furnace Fun moves were found by uh, an OG, what we had to do was do two trips to Freeze Easy Peak. We had to learn the running shoe and then go over to Gobi's Valley because we needed to uh, there to get up to the pyramid. Or it was the other way around. We had to go to Gobi's Valley and collect the... Run, or the another run. No, 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 no. You had to collect the big barge from, from Freeze Easy Peak to go to Gobi's Valley and use the big big barge, the big bomb. Uh, to hit the, the switch, uh, the target there to get into the snake charmer uh, room. Or you got the running shoes from Gobi's Valley and go, it was a two trip to Gobi's Valley. You got to go to Gobi's Valley twice or you had to go to Freeze's and Peak twice. Take your pick, basically. Um, where you could go to Gobi's Valley and get the running shoes and go back to Freeze's and Peak and do that in one room basically up to you there, but now with the Furnace Fun moves, we had all the, we had the moves going into it, so you didn't have to learn those sh shitty fucking moves. So now you can just go straight to Freeze Easy Peak and do it and run here. Whereas, uh, the old route actually used to be too. So this is, uh, Freeze Easy Peak. We'll see how Zelda rolls, how deep he rolls, how fresh he's flying. Also, uh, I did not say hi to Silent Pig Walker. Why do I want to go? I'm watching through a different stream because the delay is not. But my Admiral. My good Admiral. So, uh, what you saw there with the peasant box, uh, what you can do there is hit the first green dune, and then go out of the site, like, like go all the way to, like, uh, basically anywhere on the far right, or whatever the fuck, um, off screen, um, and they won't spawn for whatever reason, so that's just a good, that's just a good safe way to get all the the lights, the light bulbs to get into the tree, and uh, that's a pretty chill part of the run, as opposed to normally what you would have to do was hit all three green guys every time and time that perfectly. So what Zolan does is I guess he just, just jumps over the switch and fucking hits on the fucking on switch. Yeah. Giant fucking dump on it. I do the do the do the shot from, the <laughs> but you know you, you can just jump up and shit on it. Oh, yeah. 
And then by Beak Bar Zoom there, uh, you can get the purple Zoom Joe and see if he does any... No, he doesn't do any strats. He just kind of flies <laughs> up around. Flies up and around and uh, goes to the store three times. Oh, blah. Look at that. What you can do, you can Beak Bomb in, like, straight over to it, and then you can ground pound with the, you know, Beak fucking pound, whatever the fuck it's called, and hit it twice. And that's the optimal strat there. What Zone is doing is uh, what the amateur is doing. <laughs> completely unheard of. And then you got a big bomb over these three little switches on the fucking front thing. Uh -oh. And snowman. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And then he's gonna go around and he's gonna big bomb all the snowman. Do you the noise in the game? I think he's gonna do. No, he's not gonna do that. So what he's gonna, he's gonna go up, he's gonna beak bomb the pipe, he's gonna load that ball. He got a first try, which I've had troubles with before. That fucking suck, and then he hits the fucking thing, and he fucking hits the fucking blowjob, and then he fucking rolls deep. And I take on the fucking shot. Uh, yeah. Climbing up the tree, there's a really fucking dumb jump, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> jump, like, off the top of the fucking log and go back up, it's fucking... Safety bubble, you know, you have to... Oh, I got it. You can actually got it. Calm down, man. Calm down. Jumbo, Jumbo, wee! He's killing all the snowmen at this point. Yeah, that's just no snowmen. It's kind of precise, but it's not too bad. Uh, you just have to like be aware of when they're throwing and when the time to go. You have to kill all the snowmen, which uh, triggers a jiggy on top of the snow hat, which uh, later he'll be grabbing. And then he rolls into uh, Mumbo's hut, I believe. Jumbo! That's not how you do that. Jumbo! Woo! <laughs> and then on top of- and, and inside Mumbo, he's grabbing the fucking ninja. And here's usually where I fucking have to watch the machine. Time. Yeah, so the sledding gate, so what happens here is you're supposed to optimally grab notes and stuff, you know, you're supposed to grab it, uh, but the problem is it's really tight timing to do that, so we'll see what happens exactly, but if you can time it right, if you do everything right, uh, you can do this. Sled game 
as the walrus and get all the, you know, jiggies and it's on the right side of the snowman do that at all. But, you know, I mean, some people do that, you know. Like, I try, I do it, but you try to grab all the notes outside of the, the, the right leg of the snowman and uh, on the way back on the second trip with the running shoes as banjo on the left side, you have all the notes. That way you don't have to go underneath there or go over there at any point. And uh, he did at least grab the green ginger, which is definitely has to do that. And then he grabbed the okay, so I mean a little bit of optimization here from all the just 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 a little bit of optimization. Hey, he won the race, which is the most important thing if you are a little bitch ass uh, and don't hear all the notes on the right side. And plus, you're supposed to grab it. You see where the uh, mumbo token was back there. There's four oh, yeah, you notes can't give this text, you have to... that around there, you're supposed to grab those three, like around there, you're supposed to grab the notes there as well. And uh, do that on that race, but that's some steady blah blah. Steady <laughs> blah blah. Fucking the strats right there, and then you get the uh, on the way back. And he grabs the back in. Oh, he's grabbing the eggs. He's grabbing all the eggs. <laughs> Well, so far, mine is the Mr. Vile replay. Uh, it's fine. Well, it's still better than yours. You gotta even get the nipple grip. N nippity nip. Dip. Now this this is just for a marathon. Still learning Skyward Sword. Come on, come on. 
Okay, so we've got what seven mumbo dog in there. He's gonna need twenty-five by the end of Kickoff Woods. So eight, he's got eight. Now there's a bunch of those people at the bay and people at the woods that are on the way. Yeah, come up, you got the last two worlds left, which is Rusty Bucket Bay and the Puck Woods. Rusty Bucket Bay should only take like 12 minutes or so. Optimum. Ish. E. Uh. But, um, the Clock Woods is like a 20 minute, like even the best. Like, I think Stevie's the clock was like 21. Yeah, I don't know. Because you have to get enter the seasons multiple times. But, uh, this is the end of Freeze Easy Peak. And, uh, at the very end of Freeze Easy Peak is an interesting little strat here where, uh, Zone's gonna avoid going back to get the walrus, which you would have to, you'd have to go back and forth to the walrus. Uh, casually. Yeah. You would have to go back and forth, you'd have to get the walrus and go get the honeycomb, the final honeycomb piece, but... Uh, the strat is that if you, um, do the right thing here and, uh... Just, just, just let it speak for itself. And you got it. Okay. I think <laughs> he's getting it. So he jumps like right to where the entrance there was, and he went right underneath, and he was able to swim underneath. Where that pathway was, where normally you would, you're supposed to be taking the walrus. He was able to do that, and um, he even had one more honeycomb than he needed there. Um, you're gonna have to do that with five honeycombs, and that I'm totally fine with doing five. Uh, I've done it usually, but and six is de sucks. definitely safe to have six. Um, and you're able to do that, and that avoids you having to go back. Now he has to. Get to the fly pad, and then with the fly pad, he has to not land and grab the jiggy, and then go up and grab the other jiggy. So let's see this happen. Okay, we're having a little fanfare action. <laughs> yeah, he just well. Yeah. Okay, he didn't land and grab the two. So you're supposed to do it. And go through this hilarious little, 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 uh... Little, 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 little... Oh, Did that switch again? Pretty sure he wanted to grab the Mumbo token on the back end. There's that, and then he's heading to open up Rossi Bucket Bay. Yeah. And uh, we'll fire that up uh, pretty soon, so. Get hype. Uh, that's the second to last world. Uh, Cliff Lock Woods is the last world, and then he's got to do Furnace Fun and Runny. But we're getting to the end of this here, and uh, we'll see how he does in Rusty Bucket Bay. Well, we'll see. Oh, 
So right away, I'm pretty sure we're gonna see him try to get through the spinners here. Pretty much gonna wait till he does it. What the fuck, dude? To explain because this is fucking bullshit. That was bullshit. So I think we're good. I think. Need to clip you up. So, what happened there? Um, let me hold. Let me just clip you here real quick. Okay. So, first off, so what you can do is so with those spinning, rotating, um. Please. Well, the blade, the, the the cylinders that he um, just almost fell off of and fucking fell to his fucking death there. Um, he was somehow able to keep jumping or do I don't I don't know what the fuck happened there. Um, <laughs> he jumped several times and was able to still get up and uh, he got even got hit by the enemy and almost got knocked back onto it. I don't know bullshit and fucking. <laughs> That's a pretty high depth. Like, basically, you're able to jump as soon as you jump on it, no matter how fast that thing is moving, you can still jump off. So he's able to jump, you know, right off before fucking himself over. So that worked out. And then what he had to do with the fans spinning, you know, to they, they don't slow down unless you go and slow them down by hitting another switch that he skipped. And what he did there is he damage boosted through the fans, okay? So he, he took a damage and then he rolled and jumped through the fan, the first one, and then grabbed the jiggy, you know, and then he damaged it and rolled through the next one, okay? And then he got over to the other side where he had a timer clicking down, so he was on the timer at that point from hitting the other switch in which he had to get this clip which he nailed pretty pretty smoothly which that one, that actually went really smoothly drawn it though the clip through the glass wall there that he got so he got that he nailed that and he got through that and then he was able to go underneath the garbage jiggy and do whatever thing he's doing now and so at this point he should be good as long as he remembers what to do. So, I, you know, we'll see. He's got to collect 
all the notes and all the you know ten all hundred notes, all ten jiggies and a couple honeycomb pieces. He hit the grunt till he switch, he's good on that. And so next up there's there's another skip he's going the box, I, will, I don't know, see how that went, he's, he's done with it, but what you can do is you can shoot a bunch of A's and roll over and see if you get the, uh, he did, he fucking got it, you fucking klepto. To where you can shoot eggs and it'll spawn the jiggy before you actually kill that box, and you grab the jiggy and it's like a quick jiggy there. And so he, he set that up pretty well and was able to avoid basically what you have to do with that boss is that box breaks into a bunch of different crates and you have to destroy each little crate um, as it comes about um, and it, it breaks into like four different little small division and then it'll keep breaking and breaking and breaking and it'll spawn off like two more each time and he was able to skip that boss with that setup with that A shot those SGA shots that he did uh, and so at this point, he's just clearing it up and grabbing the rest of the jiggies and the, the notes in the fastest way possible. And uh, he's just rolling through Rusty Bucket Bay. This is actually a pretty clean Rusty Bucket Bay for uh, someone who hasn't practiced. Or, and I, I recently that game. Uh, so at this point, um, there's really not too much that will fuck him over. He should be able to get through Rusty Bucket Bay just fine. Uh, it's just, you know, how good is this movement going to be and how clean is this going to be at this point. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for that. Um, everything's looking pretty good so far. Um, it's uh, really fortunate that he didn't die on the little spinning cylinder earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna have to rewatch that because that didn't make any sense. He survived it, that's, uh, that's something. I mean, was it likely that he would have survived? <laughs> he's gonna fucking die. <laughs> but that's okay, because we're still rolling. Man. We're good. The Rolling Deep Marathon rolls on. Oh, yeah. My God. Okay. Oh. So he, he went over that jiggy, he had to hit that switch. And... That jump was fucking sketch. <laughs> And there's another sketch jump that comes up, you have to jump over here, that one, soon. You have to jump over to the little ledge sketch. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hi! Fucking the cook the, the fucking cookout room. Have <laughs> 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 a little barbecue in that room. So that's uh Stibby, you know, he everybody calls him Stove or whatever Stibby Sto Stovity Bobo Stibby Blah Stovity Blah Blah Stovity Blah Blah Stovity Blah Blah That's uh, he does that room really well but it's only Yeah he's just watching right now and taking notes. So there he jumped off the uh, little crank like that was holding up the the boat. Um and was able to kind of talent shot off and off. Now he's grabbing the jiggy on top of this ship. Um, but honestly, like, this isn't a bad Rusty Bucket Bay, it was just sketchy. 
<laughs> it's just, just a sketchy weapon. <laughs> this game's actually fucking me. Oh boy, the lag is here. And he made the jump over the roof. Notes that were on the ledge there. The other kind of sketchy part, because you can fail that. And, and at this point, I'm just wrapping up the rest of the uh, rusty bucket bang. Which, like I said, was not bad. It was just sketchy. To <laughs> see the least there. We're gonna rescue this uh, dolphin, but uh, when the anvil is gonna be pulled up, uh, a dolphin's gonna be shredded into pieces. Thread, shredded, shredded, into thraveling. But I'm the dolphin. Thraveling the dolphin. All right, that damage is fine because I need to death warp anyways. He needs a death warp after grabbing the last honey point. Peace. This world, and this the last thing you do here. Snorkel, though. Ah! Yeah, he definitely needs, he needs more damage, honestly. He should be down there like one minute. He does have all 100 notes, so if he does uh, death work uh, accidentally, yeah. it's fine because all he has to do is come back and grab the. Uh, well, uh, like the ginger, he better get the last. That point, it's just done. But if you don't get all the gingers or don't get all the honeycomb, um, under you don't get all the don't get all the notes or don't get all. The, if you like die right before grabbing all the gingers, grab all the notes, but you, you end up dying before you do have to get all five gingers. But he just grabbed the last one there. Just asserting here to his uh. So at this point, it's down to the clock woods and uh, the furnace fun skip, which will come up eventually. But it's just ha uh, the clock woods at this point. Which uh, this has actually gone pretty smooth. A wing it run. Why did, but yeah, if you fall in the water, they're slower to respawn. Well, that was pretty good. You're not supposed to do that, no. It's fine. Uh, we are done with Rusty Buck Bay, which is a uh, weight off the shoulder there. Yeah, because you, like, drown. So, whatever. No big deal. We are heading over to Click Clock Woods. We're going to grab the rest of the jiggies outside. Besides the final jiggy that you unlock, Gruntilda's switch in the clock woods, so he'll have the nine jiggies in the Gruntilda's lair. Uh, so basically he's gonna have 89 jiggies after collecting this one here, and we'll just have the last ten in the clock woods and the final one after the clock woods. Um, so it's just the Clip Clock Woods, uh, a little, little expedition. 
venture voucher here. Um, and Click Clock Woods uh, is pretty stressful for uh, people to pick up the game. It's a lot to learn. Uh, when I try to learn, it's a really long just, level and it's hard everywhere. There's just so much that you need to memorize and so much you need to. Because uh, you have it's to like go. one bad jump and you fall all the way down into your death. So you, you have to interchange the seasons, which there's four different seasons, and you have to go to spring, fall, winter, summer, um, and you have to go to fall, or the first one, spring, whatever, twice. Um, uh, mm -hmm. and that's how I feel about that. <laughs> but at this point, that's really all that there's left to worry about, so that's not too bad. So, just finish out Click Clock Woods, and uh, there's a interesting skip in Furnace Fun that we'll be seeing. And then uh, the Grunny Fight, which isn't too bad, so. Just fired up with Click Clock Woods. Fun. So at this point, uh, it's a good time to give a shout out to everyone holding it down for the Roll and Deep Marathon. Uh, up next, we have Aladdin. Um, we have any percent Aladdin on firing up, followed by a pretty intense and it's going to be a close race of Super Mario RPG, which I fucking hate that game. But, um, got. Uh, Void, Pid, Countdown, and Albrecht uh, on deck. Maybe. He's not in the lineup, but uh, uh. it's it's Pidge. P Pidge is a, is a girl who rolls deep. Never actually heard of until this marathon, but we'll see. I'm actually kind of interested, but at the same time, I'm probably not going to watch, so, you know. Super Mario RPG to finish it out for tonight, and then tomorrow we have the Bomberman block, so you gotta make sure you hit that. I'm gonna grab those four notes right now. Uh, I think it was funny because you... <laughs> I'm gonna save these notes for last. And then <laughs> you fucking die with 98 notes! <laughs> I just grab those two. Uh, you're only supposed to grab two, the, two on the left and then two on the right, bring out of that area. But I, I don't know who the fuck saved me for last. Alright, there's a lot to remember here, so... We're just gonna let Zelda focus, so... Fuck Woods. It was that, yeah. that's the high movement. Sick that. Basically, you go straight up to the top. Pretty much all you have to do here, but you do have to... You have to unlock the bird here. Which you have to give five worms next sun, ten worms in fall. Supposed to fall off several glass. I'm not seeing. 
you're just kind of living it up. Uh, I. You're supposed you're supposed to shit eggs into the thing, right? Yeah, because unless you unless you do the glitch uh, later in the game, which I don't think you're. I, I didn't. Do, I I I just shot eggs into the thing here, and then you leave. You're good here for this season. Hey, um, three more minutes, and then that's it. The other, I mean, as long as you get on Mumbo around it correctly, which you can always grab more here at the end if you need it. But. <clears throat> so I honestly don't get any of these notes. I grab these notes towards the end that you just grab, but you pretty much just grab them all, so that's fine. But now you go into the next season. Yeah, you only need four. You're, you're fucking you're golden. 21 Momoto is more than I usually have. I, I think I don't even, I don't even get that Momo token. Just cause you're supposed to do a clip. There is what I don't even do either. Maybe. Supposed to go there? No! Hope you're not. Oh, a little detour here. Yeah, you're supposed to just keep going straight. Uh... What is this? What's going on? Don't ask questions, don't worry. You're falling, man! What the f- You just came from there. Yeah, 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 okay. You know what, I'm just kidding. Oh, we're falling! No! Oh, that's how we're rolling, Zara. That's what we're doing. Fucking running around in circles now. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. Okay, I'll just sit here with my apple and think about that one. You're supposed to go there on the way all the way back. I got DK Ludies on the commentary. Yeah, he's, I'm a <laughs> he got taken off quite a while ago. Oh, DK Ludies on commentary and so you know, be here. You are supposed to guess. Yes, Selma, now you're cracking the dude. 
pretty sure you're supposed to grab that mumble token on the leaves there, but I already have enough. So. You have more mumbo tokens is not your problem. Pretty sure you're supposed to grab that on the way up there, but you know, you know, you know, you know. And you are supposed to be okay. You're grabbing this figure. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Whoa! It was scary there. Hmm? <laughs> Whoa! the time for that shit. <laughs> Whoa! I love that. Like, I mean, Paul uh, has the most notes, so this is one where it's Pretty much fucked up. Not what I do. Okay. And now we're just standing around contemplating life. Contemplating life? And. That's what I do. Now you're on. Hey, dude. Hiya. DK born back in. What? Huh? DK's girlfriend, huh? Well, too cat ass. Is Zona using the dumb glitch that makes the run effectively new game plus? Yeah. Wait, what? Call that the furnace farmers? Kinda. Uh, hello, Furnace Fun News. You were really annoyed, DK. Come on! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, DK. All right, okay. He's almost fucking on the, on the end of the tightrope here. He's gotta collect all 100 notes and put five woods before you fucking- WHOA! <laughs> I- I knew it was pretty funny. <laughs> you got a nothing uh, so let me just keep it up! <laughs> nice! I'd uh, love to see you uh, not get that note later on. This part, like the whole, like, note collection and where the fuck to go here is 
fall is the that's the one that took me about uh, a full day to learn. I mean, besides skipping one note that I saw you skip, you're good. I don't know when you plan to go grab that note, but okay. Just, don't, don't worry about it, okay? I got this. <laughs> He's got it, alright? Like, what you're doing is fine now. What you're doing is what I would do. Grab the worm and grab the- yes, that's what I do, yes. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I wish I had that too, but all I got is work. <clears throat> Maybe later. You just uh, pop in the middle of the SMR PG. And I'll uh, count out did the same in Andy's uh, <laughs> NMG tutorial. And that rolled incredibly deep. I can't wait till I get super drunk for the fucking NFL Street. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is NFL Street, and I'm gonna be hella drunk. Is that tomorrow, or is that the day after? Uh, two days. Because tomorrow we get the Farman block, and the next day we get the fucking Zelda fucking bond, and then you got an NFL. But tomorrow's gonna be the most stressful day for me because I honestly have been practicing. Kirk Q might even make an appearance. Fuck sake. Well, why don't you have the number run instead of you? Cause uh, you know, I'm gonna stop you. No, I'm, 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 I've got the. So you can fuck off. You can just uh, drunkenly sit there and commentate. Comment for so this is our I'm gonna be commentating for Kirk too. <laughs> He's in here. He he has work though, so I doubt it. But I told him that like I am in control of him. I can fucking. Yep. I said if he really like can't make it, I can just go him. Because it, it would be so. It means so much to have Kirk. Yeah, it would be so. And he is in the Discord, so he is aware. <laughs> you did skip one note. I'm gonna see if you get that note. I'm gonna see if you get that one. <laughs> I did not miss that note. You missed one note in fall. In fall, and uh, I'm, I remember that one. I saw you just walk right past the moon. And I'm not gonna- we'll, 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 we'll see. I'm short here. Let's yeah, you're waiting for, uh, the fun. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you to get through winter and then be like, well, I'm supposed to have 100 notes. So why don't I Well, at least we know it's in fun. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, you get the worm nonsense out of the way, you got that out of it. I mean, if you grab the note on the way back, I'll be like, yeah, you got it, but no. So then, we'll 
we'll see what happens with this little mystery now. Yep, you're doing basically what I do. These are the strats that I use to get on the flower on the end of the flower. There's like 16 or 18 notes in winter. Uh, what's it? What is this? What is it? Yeah, I got all the fucking notes. What the fuck's wrong with you? Oh! <laughs> Can you do that again for uh, the audience? Oh! Okay, good enough. Oh! Okay, you might be on. Confident in my gameplay RPG. Confident in my ball. I was uh, getting uh, bitten on here a little bit. Oh, so we're gonna have a little uh, little party underwater trying to get the honeycomb. Uh, <laughs> yeah, winter, you can get fucked pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, you do. So you have all the mumbo tokens. That is correct. You have. Six jiggies there, I think I saw. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> here he goes, here we are, we're in winter, here we go! Uh, uh, I Breaking out the jackets. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if this is right. Uh, this does not Do it up. Do it the Zelda way. I usually go straight for the, uh... Uh-oh, shit. Okay, that was clutch. That jump was, uh... <laughs> This is basically, if you can get through Click Lock Woods, I do feel confident. Until, 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 you, until you have 100 notes. Jumbo! Jumbo! Woo! Just enough to take off people who thought you were going to be underestimated. Oh, but it's all because of the vials of fuck. Yeah. That's where you lost all your time. Pause and look at my notes. So. You have nine. I know where the. I know where the other. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna spoil it, but I know where the other. Four are. They're in ice. Whatever, 
Yeah, the other four notes are in nice. <laughs> Can you imagine playing Banjo Tui? Could you? Could you honestly imagine? Oh. I think I missed something. I, I missed the. <sighs> the other honeycomb is the nice, you guys. From under the water, you gotta risk it on this one. The four notes are right there in front. You got them. You got, you got a whole other notes. Bam. All you need is what the honeycomb is in on, right? I need the bird. You too. Yeah, you fucking skip it. You should have grabbed it while you're <laughs> the And you, you know, you, you knew you weren't gonna be able to fly and grab it without. And I won't have enough notes for the skip. Yeah, this winter is pretty shitty. But at least you have all hundred notes. It's a heavy blizzard. And your pace is barely sub three. Oh, you went all the way back up to the nest just to grab it. Like, don't what? ask any questions. No last question, Like, why don't you just grab it? I know what I'm doing, RPG, alright? <laughs> I know what I'm doing, I'm just backtracking a little bit, it's okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know what I'm doing, never mind. That, that was weird. You got the biggie all the way on top? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> you, you didn't even go out there yet, what the f***? Selma, come on! Come! Get, get the <laughs> Well, I guess, uh, we're not doing the clip. Oh. One more try? <laughs> oh, we can't get the clip! Whoa! Zumbo! Eventually got the clip, I guess. Back out though. Are you going for that clip uh, underneath the ice water? You got it. Okay, hundred notes. That's what I want to see. You got. You, you had that. I knew you had that. You got one jiggy. That you which is obviously the one you have to put fucking people in. Fuck you. <laughs> well, that's it. So all you have to do is fucking be get the last jiggy with the B, and then go outside the fucking cliff, look at the last fucking jiggy, and then go to furnace. Fuck your ass, because it's gonna fuck your ass.
I like how it's just one fucking jiggy that you just fucking do. But at this point, it's really it's just finished the game. Is this run rolling? Not as deep as the shit I just took. Oh. Well, that countdown's great. It was the last MRPG party. Yeah, so for Furnace Fun, he's going to intentionally fail a question on a death, uh, death uh, square. And he's going to be standing just in the right position to where it'll knock him back on the board. And he won't die. And he'll be able to, at that point, skip all the rest of the tiles. And he will be getting it first try. There's no question about that. Uh, but that's not four. Uh, and then once he's done with that, he'll be uh, squaring up the over on Zelda. And then Joe D'Amelio will be popping in his Aladdin cart with his argument. Sparking up this whole ad and then uh, finishing out with some uh, Super Mario RPG tonight. Uh, yeah. Alright, I need to get this one. Alright, this is Gilby's Valley, it's pretty easy. Joker card. Look at my build, muscle is taut. What's my most enjoyable I don't know. That's a different answer every time. <laughs> Look at my screen. Do you know where you have been? Whoa! <laughs> Loogie Flicky. Loogie Flicky. Uh, I think I'll do that one just to like, well, keep it to the words. I have all ice cream. Crocodiles and I don't care wasting time on this new game. Just want to skip plenty questions and not be stuck. <laughs> He might actually be in the yeah. This is Kurt Q and uh oh,
I have drank half a bottle tonight. <laughs> Which way am I going? Okay, so here I'm gonna get this is gold feathers. I don't need that. Need <laughs> red feathers and eggs and probably double health as well because Yeah that that would do it up there. Thank Mr. Fucking Vile for fucking all over. He's so good. Honestly, uh, he did a pretty good, pretty good display here. Um, had he not died to Vile, or, uh, I mean, 
lost the mini game. It would have been close to 250. So that's pretty good given the short numbers. So rolling in the drumming. This is the final boss fight. Jordan you better have the legend that plug out. Practice with one. the last
Oh, uh, I don't know what the time is, but that was a pretty good run for Rust. <clears throat> 256.19. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now, these credits take forever, so if you want to go straight to the next game. Uh, it honestly doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm just, uh, itching to stay. It's really up to you if you. Yeah, I'm putting your screen down and it doesn't matter. Back to the script of credits. I know, countdown went to eat them before this one. Do whatever you want. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Alrighty, that was Banjo Kazooie Volume and Bizona. Up next, we got Disney's Aladdin for the Super Nintendo uh, by myself, Joe D'Amelio. I will get that set up here. <laughs> 